Hi, my name is Maggie Marr and I'm the founder of Maggie Marr Legal PC. I'm also a USA Today bestselling author of over 20 books. So today I want to talk to you a little bit about some of the words we throw around in entertainment. Uh, today specifically I want to talk about um, the word development. So this is part of our books to film and TV series and I also have a book called Books to Film and TV by Maggie Marr and we'll put a link below to that title. It has a really fantastic glossary in it that I think explains the def or gives the definitions of a lot of the words that that I use when talking about entertainment. So one of the words that you hear over and over again is development. And a lot of my author friends will ask me, what exactly is development or what does that mean? So I'm going to go through that. So development is what entertainment executives do day in and day out. A producer or an executive who works with a production company, they will find a piece of material, whether it's a, a book an article, a comic book, or a script, they will read the material and they fall in love with it. And they say, oh my goodness, we have to have this, we wanna develop it. So what they're doing by developing it is that they're reading it and they're finding all of the elements that will make the project the best project, hopefully, knock on wood, that it can possibly become. So let's just walk through some of those steps with regards to a book. So say a development executive reads a book that they fall in love with. They decide that they want to option or attach to that book. So they will offer a shopping agreement, an option purchase agreement, or an attachment agreement to an author. The author then at that point, if they have a representative or if they don't, hopefully they will have a representative review that document that is presented to them before signing it. So the book author signs the agreement, which then allows the producer or the development executive to develop the material. What they do with the book, here's a perfect example, is they read the book and they think to themselves, who is the ideal screenplay writer to turn this either into, if it's going to be episodic for TV, they would be looking for a showrunner. And if it's going to be a 90-minute MOW or a theatrical release, they're looking for a screenplay writer who can turn the book into that. So they will develop it by thinking, creating a list of different writers that they think could be right for the book. The next step with that sort of development path would be for them to reach out to the manager or the agent of each individual screenplay writer that they have a, that they have a relationship with and say would you please ask your client if they would be interested in in writing this material um, they may do this for, with a large number of people or they may have one person in mind for the work and so then they're going to go individually to the individual agent or manager that they have the best relationship with the agent or manager then reads the material themselves and says Yes or no, this is something, yes, this is something that my client has been looking for and I'm going to send it to them. So then the agent or manager sends the material, the book, the article, the comic to the client and says, um, will you take a look at this? This producer would really like for you to consider it. They think that you would be perfect for the material. So then the screenplay writers say that they read it, they love it, they decide they would love to be the person who adapts this material for the screen. The development executive then has a Zoom or a meeting with the screenplay writer at that point, and they discuss what the vision is for the script, what kind of project they would like for it to be. So if a deal is able to be struck between the production company and the screenplay writer, once that deal is closed, the screenplay writer goes off and does their first pass, their first draft. Uh, the screenplay writer then turns in that pass or that draft and the development executive and the different executives at the production company read that pass or that draft and provide notes to the screenplay writer. They either say, this is what we wanted, there are some tweaks we'd like to see, there are changes that we'd like to see, and then they go back to the screenplay writer with those notes and the screenplay writer does another draft or another pass based on the notes that were provided to them by the production executives. At the same time, usually, the producer who has the book under option is having conversations about this material with different people in town, whether it's representatives for directors or representatives for actors, or if they have direct relationships with directors or actors, they're perhaps having conversations about the book that they've recently optioned or put under a shopping agreement. Also, really good producers have uh, relationships with different studio executives or streamer executives. So they're also having conversations about the book, how they're developing it, who the screenplay writer is that they've attached to the book, 
who they see as the appropriate actor for the material. This is all laying down the runway so that when the script is in a great space, the producer, the development executive can turn around and provide the script that they like to the representatives of the actors or the actors themselves, the representatives of the directors or the directors themselves, as well as the executives. Because most producers don't have the financing on of their own accord to be able to put a project into production. Some do, but not a lot. And if they do, oftentimes they're oftentimes they're going through a finance financing. Um, and we'll do a video on on different models of financing for film projects a little bit later. So they have their conversations with the executives. When the script is in a pretty good sh a shape that they the producer likes, they will then reach out to the different executives that they know. If they have an overall deal or a first look deal, they go to that studio streamer who they have a deal with first, um, and they ask them to give it a read. At that point, the studio or streamer has been looped in, and the executive then has their opportunity to read the material and see if it fits with this, what they need in their slate as a as a distributor of um, books to film and TV. So the development process is ongoing. It basically means giving a lot of notes on the creation of the uh, film or TV show. So, so yeah, so that's development. It can go quickly or it can take a very long time. Uh, it really has to do with the vision of the producer and the vision and needs of the distributor. So again, we talk, I talk about this in my book, Books to Film and TV, and I'll put a link below to that book. I think it, it has some, some nice information about this as well as definitions of different words that we use over and over again in entertainment. Uh, this is a part of our Books to Film series. If, if you liked the video and you thought it was informative, please give it a like. That's really helpful. And also, if you think that what we're discussing, what I'm discussing on the channel is informative and helpful to you, if you would subscribe to the channel, that would be incredibly helpful because then you'll get a notification when we put a new video up. Um, again, you know, the primary goal of this channel is to provide information to creators so that they can get multiple revenue streams on their creations, as well as if they're interested in the books to film and TV space. So thank you so much for being here and listening. If you have questions, please shoot us an email at hello at maggiemarlegal.com. Happy to try to answer anything that you might want more information about. Thank you.